That's a, a shape shifting beef. Didn't get. A, <laughs> did, didn't understand anything you said. <laughs> All right, let me shape shifting beef, dude. That's my stage name. <laughs> Welcome next to the stage. Shape shifting beef. <laughs> <laughs> just Velcro pants, come off! <laughs> and I and I have like a horse mask on. <laughs> so I, I have a confession to make, guys. You guys were talking about it earlier before we jumped on recording here, but I have not seen one single episode of Game of Thrones. Neither have I. Neither of you, you, Cody, right? You haven't seen one single episode? Uh, I've seen like a half episode. (laughs) You've seen half episode? Why why half? 0.5 of an episode? Yeah. (laughs) Well, maybe 0.6, but I didn't like it. You didn't like it? It's boring. You watched watched one episode or one season? No, one episode. No, not even an episode. 0.5 of an episode. 0.5 of an episode. Oh, sorry. And did you watch it? just because you thought I have to find out about this or did someone make you I needed to figure out what the fuss was about I feel like you can't get a grasp of any show yeah. watching half of it's an it's probably true I'm sure if you watch point five an episode of Breaking Bad you probably wouldn't have liked yeah. it but you watched it I did I, the first time I started watching Breaking Bad I didn't like it and then I gave it another shot and I ended up liking it that's uh, that's like the universal story of Breaking Bad, though. With you have to Game you have Thrones, to give though. you have to give each series at least like three episodes in before you make a judgment. That's a big investment. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> what well, I, I have heard only good things about that show, and I have been waiting. It's the same thing that when Breaking Bad ended, I didn't see a single episode till the show was over. Me either. And I watched the entire thing on Netflix. I'm waiting for this to happen on Game of Thrones because the last episode is tomorrow. tomorrow at the time of this recording. By the time you guys see this, it'll have been yesterday, but. Uh, I I have not heard that this new season is that great. Yeah, I don't know. I've, that's what I keep hearing too. So we'll it's see. it's very so, disappointing. Yeah, it's disappointing. It, well, I mean, it depending on who you ask, I guess. But the majority of people I've talked to is like it's it just feels different than all the other previous seasons, and it feels like they're just rushing through things and trying to like close up all these loose ends, and it's just like very unsatisfying. Yeah, I want to like, watch it because I hear there's lots of there's lots of boobs. <laughs> <laughs> you would yeah. you freaking perv I like them there's like one good episode in this season um, but yeah it's there. It's kind of lazy and and I think it's because or at least everyone's saying is like this is the 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 first season that they've like totally totally diverged from the author no. like they are fully writing it on their own well I love that uh, if <laughs> Like, hey, we got a good thing here. Let's, <laughs> Let's change just, the recipe. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just, well, especially if it's the, the end, too. Let's just yeah. make up our own for the Yeah, end. yeah, it's so weird. Or, they made it into a comedy. It's like, come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Super well, slapstick Benny Hill comedy. <laughs> I, I think this is a universal thing, too, which is, I mean, this happens to, I think, the average American pretty much every weekend or anytime they turn on Netflix, which ED? is. Yeah, that, oh, too. Uh, but no, it's scrolling through Netflix and finding just nothing but mediocre shows, and you're just disappointed by the amount of choices. And I was thinking about this today where i'm like back in the day back when the, the 90s was around the 80s 90s blockbuster was still a thing you would go to the local video store and if there was something you wanted to see the only thing you had to worry about was whether or not a customer had uh gotten there before you and it was like rented out mm-hmm. nowadays you can probably find it but you have to figure out what platform it's on mm-hmm. so yeah. you're like okay i, I want to find this but i'm not part of this so like oh if you want to watch it you have to pay this amount and it's a little bit more than like it would cost if you just rented it. Now, that's not the case probably for most movies, but certainly for shows. And I know nowadays between Disney Plus coming out, between Netflix, Hulu, I think Disney Plus just bought Hulu, and uh, I think there's a few more, Prime that has a few shows. How are you supposed to keep up with all these shows? Well, eventually there's just going to be some uh, aggregate version, right? Like, Do you think so? I, th- I thought that's what Netflix was going to be, but then like... The studios were like, "No, we got to maintain our properties." Or- yeah, I, I think I think that's the the world that we're maybe eventually yeah. uh, like far into the future. But I think the direction we're going in right now is every network that was on TV, mm-hmm. like every channel, is going to have a streaming service, like or, or something akin to that. Yeah, like Disney is going to have their own streams. Apple's going to have their own. Like, is, uh, are there any current aggregates like Roku? You get like a you get. All of the but, things, in- but Roku isn't a streaming service. It's a device. It's a hardware. But you get oh, meaning like you still have to, even though you have access to individual ones, you still have to sign up individually. Right. To- exactly. Got it. Exactly. Do they have Survivor on Roku? Uh, there, Anissa. They, they have it on Prime. Prime. 
Uh, <laughs> I, I heard that show just ended, and I actually saw the highlight for it, and I thought of you, Anissa. I was like, I wonder if Anissa watched that. I'm you assuming know. she did. <laughs> We're still, still trying to put together my application video. We'll see how it goes. She is literally going to I'm apply. I'm literally going to apply. Uh, of you course. Ha- you have to show that on this podcast. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I, no I told kidding. her to wear something super low cut. Get yeah. all dolled up <laughs> yep. and try to make a fire. <laughs> and try, and it's yeah. going to be the it's best video. Go well. yeah. yeah, but that's oh exactly God. why it will go well. Mm. And just oh pout, pout a lot. Yeah. I just can't get it started. Oh my God. Yeah. I'm totally God, it's so difficult. Oh, well, yeah. it's kind of warm. Is there a, is there a lighter off. buried around here? <laughs> yeah. uh, no, Dylan, to your, to your original point, I think um, you're talking about, you know, how di- the different experience between, you know, having a streaming service like Netflix and you know, sc- you know, scrolling through versus going to Blockbuster and and you know, trying to find exactly what you want. And sh- and think- strolling through. Yeah, strolling. Did I say strolling? No, he said scrolling, <laughs> but then I said strolling. Mm-hmm. Okay, you were saying he's trying to make a joke. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. <laughs> uh, and uh, but I think it's like a, a, the the classic like paradox of choice when it comes to streaming services because yes, you have so many absolutely. options and you. you you know, if you if you came upon a, a movie in Blockbuster when you were walking through it, you thought this is the best. Like I, I found the gold mine right here. Like this is the movie right. I want. This is what I you know have been looking for. But Netflix, you find an equally good movie, but you're like in the back of your head, you're like there might be There's something more. better. So yeah. you just keep scrolling, keep scrolling, and before you know it, you've been scrolling for ten minutes, and you're like, why haven't I found anything? And then you just watch The Office. And then you just watch yes. something that you're. Or asking. or I or think, you're like, I, oh yeah, that might be a good one. So I'm gonna, I'll remember that one. And then you keep scrolling. And you're like, okay, maybe this one too. So that's a second on the list. Right. And then before you know it, you're you have too many on your remember list to remember, and you certainly don't remember what category they were in. And right. so you just basically start again from the top and just do it a couple times. Over. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I would actually I I would disagree with you guys on one context. With uh, I agree that paradox of choice is absolutely a thing that happens. But I think when it comes to Netflix or most of the stuff that's probably on Prime Hulu. Mm-hmm. I have definitely been surprised by a few random picks that I've made where I said, that was a really good movie. I totally didn't see that coming. But I think the vast majority that are on those mm. platforms are, this is garbage. Mm-hmm. This is, I, I'm not, if I paid for this out of Blockbuster, I'd be pissed. I'd want my money but back. that's just the case with most movies, no matter what. Yeah, I, I completely agree. Uh, so I, I think that's just the problem too now is with all these streaming platforms coming out, especially with Disney just announcing that. I'm like, oh my gosh, I was just talking to my fiance. I'm like, when we get our own place, are we going to get the Disney platform? Like, is that something we're going to have to include on top of our Netflix and then soon HBO Go once we get Game of Thrones? Like, I don't know. Like, there's too many shows to keep up with nowadays. And on top of that, they're just not that great anyway. And like Cody mentioned earlier, it's an investment. Like, sitting down and being like, all right, I'm going to commit to these characters and see the storyline all the way through. And you're like, I don't know if this is even going to be any good. And it's like, this is just becoming so muddled with too many things happening now. But what, uh, I, anyway. I think that's a, I think that's a valid question. And Dylan... I want to ask you because you said you you know scrolling through and you find some random gems that maybe you weren't expecting to be good. What mm-hmm. makes you watch those? Because I feel like most people would be like, "Oh, that's probably not going to be good. That's probably not going to be good." Or like, "I've never heard of this, so I'm not going to watch it." Nudity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll look for the rating. Look for why it's rated R and, 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 and NC seventeen rating. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, no, actually, I think the the. the I'm not kidding. I think 90% of the time we settle on a movie. Usually I'm watching it with my fiance. We, we literally just give up. We say that one. I, I, we're tired of looking. That's how, I, that's, how I, um, that's how I'm probably going to end up choosing my mate. <laughs> right. I give up. Too obvious. many options here. I saw yeah. that coming. I'm like, yeah, you. Yeah. In uh, on, in the motorized wheelchair uh, downtown <laughs> yeah. on Sunday at yeah. one p.m. waiting. You, you, you like become stop. dumb and dumber when you're trying to put the newspaper in that old lady in the motorized cart. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she peels you'll up. be at a, a new yeah. low. Although yeah. slow and dangerous behind the wheel. Yeah. Um, Instead of asking for help, you'll just ask her for marriage. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hold on, I, I wanted to say one thing because we referenced the last episode in, in the Survivor uh, reference, but. I listened to the last episode, and this is a case of like, oh, I should have made, I should have made this joke. It's, but it's a, it's, a, it's, it's a joke slash an observation, which, which is really funny to me. So the question was asked: If you could invite anyone to dinner, dead or alive, in the history of man, who would it be? And Joel and Anisa's answer was the exact same as if you would have asked them. Of any sitcom dad between 1985 <laughs> and 1995, who would you invite to dinner? 
I'm gonna be honest. Perhaps. I don't. I don't remember what I said. <laughs> so you said John Ritter, and Anissa oh, yeah. said Tim Allen. I'm yeah. just saying it was the history of man, dead or alive. <laughs> and you guys both choose, cho- chose, chosen, Jeez. cheesed, cheesed, uh, uh, sitcom dads between 85 and 95. But see, yes. that's why we're perfect for each other. Wasn't, that, no, wasn't absolute, that the question? That's how we think. <laughs> no, it wasn't the question. <laughs> like, like we, there was Jesus, Einstein. 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 Right. I, I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be able to understand Einstein. Einstein. I know. Well, I also asked for an interpreter, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, okay, now you're asking for too many things, Josh. <laughs> well, what's weird about their answer? Yeah, <laughs> the fact that it's, dude, I was about to go off. You know those those gifts of like cats that are about to like jump on something, and it's like it's like equations and formulas coming out of their head. That was me when you right when you asked that. I could see the inhale. You're ready. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, man, uh, all right. So anyway, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to play a game in the context of what we were talking about earlier, which is like all the shows and different platforms that have way too many movies of these things that you just you've never even heard of these things. But there's a little bit of a twist to this game that we're going to play. And Cody might have a distinct advantage because I think he has more knowledge of this. But do you remember the fake news game we played where I would say, where you I know, lost not horribly? Is, yeah. 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 <laughs> we're going to redo Luke, that. Luke didn't, Luke didn't do too well. Luke made us do this. Yeah. <laughs> So basically, I I give you guys basically a line, or a, in this case, I'm going to give you guys a movie plot, and you have to decide whether or not it's real. But in this game, they're all real movies. They're all real. But the oh, difference be easy. is, yeah, yeah. No, no. Here's the thing: is that you have to figure out whether or not this is a movie that is actually made by like Hollywood, or if it's a movie we made as kids. <laughs> and now you guys are like going, well, wait a minute. Of course you would remember what she made as kids. Not in this case. I think we're in a very unique circumstance here. It's because most every kid from the 80s and 90s that grew up with a home video camera, everybody made probably like a dozen. We made hundreds. <laughs> yeah. I'm not exaggerating in the least. There's literally hundreds of these things. And, we don't need yeah. to advertise And, them. and a <laughs> lot of them like didn't have all of us. Yeah, yeah. So, exactly. so you could be refer, referring to something that me and Joel weren't in. Or yeah, yeah whatever, exactly. Yeah. So you have to figure out whether or not this is something that uh, we we made or this was like an actual movie. And it's just the log line of the movie. So you have to decide, did we make this or is it Hollywood? Because we created log yeah, lines yeah, for every yeah. single one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So in other words, on IMDb. Yeah, yeah. So I think Cody should be the always be the person that answers last because I think he has a distinct advantage because he might have more knowledge of these than Cody you guys. will he know will, every answer. Yes, he will know <laughs> Because, he, because he filmed every single one of them. Well, well then, he just has a he has a substantially better memory than everyone else. All right. Do you understand the rule, uh, Joel and Anissa? Do you guys understand what we're doing here? Barely, but yes. yes. Uh, yeah, what, they get it. What what year does the newest one go up to? Like, See, the fact that you have that? to ask that question. <laughs> like, yeah, what year does it go up to? Yeah. The, these were all... He's like brain yeah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, these were all yeah, made in the. Uh, well, obviously, we, we started recording in the 90s, uh, but the last one's like early 2000s. So these really? are all oh, okay. almost 20 years old. So, like, we probably. The, these are the obscure <laughs> ones that you're like, I don't remember that at all. Yeah, um, unlike our blockbusters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you mean just busters? Yeah. Oh, single! Yeah. Um, uh, now, are we counting Cody's vote? Uh, yeah, I, there might be a few okay. that stumped I, Cody. I, I might. What yeah, if we well, ask that question, but, but Cody every game? certainly has to go last. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah basically, he's the one that will tell us who's right. But <laughs> I'm going to copy whatever Joel says, so it's going to be a weird day. Uh, Joel, Joel, and Anissa is going to be on a, on a team. Joel does and Anissa is on that, a team. Does that make sense? Sure. Right, yeah. To everyone. Yeah, I think that's they considering have, Anissa probably doesn't. Anissa has no idea. They have to agree no. on their answer. I, I actually watched all of those videos when I secretly had a crush on Joel mm-hmm. during probably not all finals week. <laughs> no, no. So I think no, I might no, have the, a shot. No, no, these are not the ones that are on YouTube for everyone to watch. These are the private old old well, videos. I mean, like you back mean they from don't the 90s and like early 2000s. They don't happen to include, or they are exclusively re- to anything before the public ones. Uh. Like not 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 even some of them include some of the more popular ones. Yeah, none none of these include any of the popular ones. Right. These are ones that are like I don't. So Anissa no doesn't. Know so the I yeah. won't know any yeah. of them. Okay. Yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, but you're really cute and you have a good smile. So. Oh, thanks. <laughs> uh-huh. dun, dun, dun. Hence them being on a team together. Yeah, <laughs> thank okay. you, Luke, for introducing. Right. Joel is too. Yeah. All right, here we go. We're gonna go with the first round. First log again. These are called log lines, which yeah. is just a one sentence uh, description of the plot. Did we make this, or is this an actual movie? Well, our chances are 50-50. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that the math? 
Um, <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. I'm going to die of cancer. Two guys over-prepare for their friend Bob to come over who only intends on killing them. <laughs> Did we make that movie, or is that an actual movie plot? We made it. Luke says we made that movie. I'm probably incorrect. When we played the fake news game, Luke got like everything. Uh, um, <laughs> I did. I got every one of them wrong. It was like Ma- the worst mainly, luck ever. Mainly because, mainly because whatever you guys voted on, I just did the, the opposite. opposite. Yeah. Just um, to make it entertaining. Yeah. So you guys over prepare for their that's, friend that's, Bob. That, that's cousins. That's cousins. You think that's cousins? Yeah. Okay. Joel and Issa, what do you say? We you we agree. It, we sure. agree. You think yeah. we made that? Cousins, okay. cousins, cousins. Yeah, Cody, what is it? Yeah, I say cousins. You're all correct. That is something we made. That one what? was called Sign of Geeks. Yeah. Sign of who, who was it? That, one? that was exclusively a Cody and I. Uh, and was Brent in it? No, no. Oh, okay. yeah, Cody, Cody played the third person. You played the two people and one. Or no, you, it was me and you, the two people, and you also were Bob. So. All right, so everyone got a point there? Everyone gets a point. It's, it's yeah, amazing what putting on a hat can do. <laughs> um, you never saw that. No, I, I, don't, I don't think I've ever seen that. I'm just saying if the rest are as obvious... <laughs> we'll see. This, this, this could be a very see. boring game. All right, here we go. Number two, a caretaker tries to take tries to take care of three demented siblings after their parents' death. You're like Optimus Prime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Three demented. Si- Tom that's... Hanks stars in a movie called. <laughs> uh, that's a real movie. Oh, obvious. I'm gonna call that one a real. Luke movie. says that's a real movie. Did you, guys, did you guys hear it, Joel and Issa? Did you guys hear this? Three, I think that's real three too. demented people caring for what? A caretaker. It's a, a caretaker tries to take care of three demented siblings after their parents' death. Um, a lot of these could mm. be both. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, yeah. There, there is one be. that was very much. I was like, this is like the same exact plot, but I there was one difference that I. Um, a person takes care of three siblings, right? A, a caretaker. A caretaker. Yeah. Um, after their parents died. <laughs> I'll say cousins. Josh says cousins. Luke says it's real. Joel and Nisa, what are you going with? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would, I, vote op- I would vote vote opposite for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, not uh, according to the last one. Man, that's <laughs> difficult. You say it's real? It sounds real. That'd be a weird... I'll say it's real, but it's her if it's wrong. So <laughs> so it's a real movie. Cody, what is it? Uh, I say Cousins. I don't know. You say it's a Cousins? Yeah. Oh. This is a real movie, actually. So yeah! Yeah. Turn so it around, buddy. Good job. Yeah, see, it fooled Cody. So Cody yeah. doesn't know. Yeah, no, apparently. What's, uh, who's in that movie? It's called... This movie's called... I'm not kidding. This is the title. Spider Baby or the Maddest Story Ever Told. <laughs> that is the actual name. Oh, oh, this changes everything. Let's watch it. <laughs> it's on my watch list. So, so me and Joel and Issa got, yeah, got a point. Yeah. That's, Hold on. That's, in, that's in my next Netflix queue right yeah, now. Yeah, we've ordered yeah. it. It's on pre-order. No, no, I mean, like... I have that Blu-ray. This changes everything from the sense of, like, I know the kind of real movies we're including. Yeah. Um, yeah. I want I want you to show... Well, they, were, they weren't going to be, like, a Shawshank plot and... <laughs> yeah right. Yeah, yeah. I'm like Tom Hanks and yeah. Uh, yeah. Lieutenant Dan. Yeah, a, a retarded man meets the president. <laughs> yeah, twice. Um, yeah, no, so uh, you uh, maybe Dylan, you're already planning on this, but what would really make that awesome is if you show a short clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, I definitely right. will. We're definitely gonna show little teasers of these. Okay, next one. A group of people gather at a house to bring out the inner idiot in themselves. That could be all of our videos. <laughs> yeah. That could be literally all of them. It's all of our videos and a real movie. <laughs> Which one? You gotta take a gander. I'm gonna say a real movie because I have a feeling I know what real movie is. <laughs> I'm oh. so curious what you think of movie that is, though. Is that a clue? <laughs> uh, a real movie. Josh says real. Luke says real. Joel and Issa, what do you say? I'll say real. <laughs> say real. real. Cody? Real. You guys are correct. That is a real movie. Is that is movie? copy and pasted the logline from the IMDb page. That's literally the logline. It's literally you said, just... You said cousins, yeah? No, I said, I said it's real. real. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, all, you all said it's real. I, I said I, pro- I, I have a feeling I know what movie oh. That movie's just called The Idiots. Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Dude, that... Whoever made it should be ashamed that's not a cousin's movie. <laughs> yeah. The Idiots. That's pretty good. All right, let's move on to the next so one. So we all got a... We all, all got a... 
point. I feel like that was the title of three of our videos, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was like, this one sounds just like a cousin yeah. video. Um, all right, so here we go. A mysterious signal broadcast through the TV warps people's thinking and turns them into murdering maniacs. Real. Anissa says it's real. She's just taking the initiative. Look at that. Um, I, so much for process, everybody. <laughs> yeah, if, if it's... I'm, if it's, I'm confident. It, it, I know a movie that has an exact plot, so if it's not that, then I'll... I'll Argue. What is your answer? All right, okay. I'm actually going to say Cousins. Because uh, I, Luke's I think defer. I know which one you're talking about. Uh, okay, you got to defer. Well, now I have no idea what to say. Because <laughs> <laughs> apparently both mm. are possibly wrong. And We're right. both right. Well, and I guess that, count, that counts for every <laughs> answer. Um, oh, my God. So I'll say Cousins because it sounds like it might be one, but if Joel challenges it because he says real movie and it's wrong, it might be a wash. So I think that's the safest answer. Wait, wait, what was your answer? Cousins. Cousins. So cousins, cousins, real. real. What do you say? Uh, real. So it is a real movie. This is real. This movie's called Capsule the Signal. Joel, are you thinking of the one that just came out not too long ago on Netflix? No, I'm thinking of Videodrome. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I don't know that one. So Cody and Joel and Anissa got that right. All right. Uh, I was thinking Y2K. <laughs> <laughs> uh, our classic. That was a feature film we made. I don't. Actually. I don't think. I, have I seen that? <laughs> it's on the channel. Well, weren't you guys time. like in the like the TV was like I don't know. Yeah. Well, we, <laughs> yeah, it was like this oh, guy of Y2K, clip. Cody. <laughs> show a clip. God, what a, what a great right opportunity right to just to show the highlights of these dumb oh, movies. Man. Show <laughs> clip. There are no highlights. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving the along. Ending here. credits is great. Yeah, yeah, they are actually pretty hilarious because we film them directly off the computer screen <laughs> with the camera <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 as they scroll. Yeah. That's awesome. All right, here we go. Next one. Three people get sucked into a toilet and have to survive three days in the past at the hands of a powerful evil genie. We're not that clever. <laughs> yeah, we're not. Yeah, that's, that's no that's, way. That's a real movie. <laughs> so you say it's real. 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 Joel. Real. 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 Agree. This is a cousin's. No. <laughs> this, this, this is a cousin's. Nobody got it right. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, for anyone who no. cares or is watching, that just shows how many dumb videos that we've made. <laughs> who made it? Who was in that? Just you two? No, it was you. <laughs> what? You wrote it. Dude, it was this is you? two weeks ago. It, it was everybody but Josh and Anissa. Essentially. Well, Anissa's <laughs> not going to be in any of these, but yeah. Uh, yeah, everybody but Josh was in this one. So it was me, Dude. you, and Joel got sucked into a toilet, and Cody's this powerful genie that says, like, I'm not going to let you go back. <laughs> To the future. Why didn't you let him go back to the future? <laughs> well, dude. Well, do we, do, so do we, do we remember no who comment. came up with that plot? Because no, this is back in 1995. That's oh pretty. God. That's wow. pretty. Geez. I mean, that's genius. That's just. Pure I, I was so I was Sucked six years old. <laughs> oh my god! It's amazing you're you're even able to figure out what the plot is. Yeah, exactly. Well, I th yeah. The reason I know what all these are is because I digitize all of these old eight millimeter tapes. Uh, like or no digital eight not eight millimeter high uh, eight, high eight. Uh, like about two years ago now so I had to go through and kind of filter them all out and I had to rewatch all of these oh and I was like what is this about <laughs> so, <laughs> had them on standby um. all right next one so it's <laughs> don't follow me anymore <laughs> two kids wake up in the magical world of Toyland where they team up to fight an evil villain named Barnaby. Hmm. 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 Josh knows. Everybody's Josh knows. thinking real. Luke says real. You're smart guy, Joel. Real. Yes, I'll say real. I don't. Real. I don't know, but I'm confident. <laughs> it's real. Think so? Mm -hmm. Going with real. Going with real. Cody. Real. real. You guys are right. Real. This one's real. This is a real one. This no one's, one's called ever said Barnaby around here. Yeah, that's yeah. too. Well, we we had. Uh, it, was, it was pretty Barbosa. close to Barbosa, know, but yeah. Barbosa yeah. was a direct copy from Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> okay. Do you know what's what funny? Is every time I pick up wine and I. Every time I pick up wine and I, and I pass by Behringer wine. <laughs> just like, <"Dude, laughs> Behringer? Dude, I, I had Behringer for the first time ever I bought not it. too long ago. I it's not that couple, great. I bought it's it a couple bad. weeks ago, yeah. It's kind of a, it's very, literally it's the cheap. definition of two bucks. Mm -hmm. That movie's <laughs> called Babes in Toyland. I'm not kidding. Came out in 1986. Are there actual babes in it? I don't think so. I think it's kids. <laughs> I think I've seen <laughs> the movie. Weird. All right, so here we go. 
Hotel owners, desperate for business, take in a mischievous guest who overstays his welcome. This is many hotel owners. Hotel owners, desperate for business, take in a mischievous guest who overstays his welcome. Mm. <laughs> this could be one of our plots. Yeah, did we make this movie? So simple. Do you think we could have been that clever? Could be one of our plots. This very much could have been. I will say so. Uh, jeez, uh, I have no idea. Um, I will say uh, real. I'm gonna go opposite of you, cousins. Uh, so Luke says cousins. Josh says real. Joel and Issa, what do you say? We said cousins. 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 Ooh, three cousins and a real. It is a cousins. Good, uh, and you know what's funny is this is actually called uh, Josh checks in. <laughs> <laughs> the one person who got it wrong is the title of the skit. Josh wow. Wow. Josh that in. is pretty funny. <laughs> this was back in 1996 again. So. Hey, talk about talk about salt in the wound. Yeah. Your name is <laughs> in, in the, the title. title. <laughs> Josh checks in. Is this when you guys lived uh, down? I think it was here. It was, it was, it was here in 96. Yeah. Really? yeah, you literally just show up. This one was the, the movie that had a very similar plot to another 90s movie. Instead of it, uh, being a guy, it was like a chimp. Into a hotel or something like that. It was <laughs> that very was the real sim- movie. <laughs> yeah, was way more creative. It was very very similar. Yeah. Dude, all right. So here we go. All right. Wait, hold on. I want to know more about this movie. Just Why couldn't you guys walk. get rid of me? No, because like we were desperate. Like we need someone to stay, and you're such an idiot. And you kept like ruining everything. We're like, well, we have to keep him around because we Wait, need money. Wait, I just can't believe that we were that young and we could like conceive of the fact that there could be business owners that were desperate for business. Let, let me let me <laughs> let me like clarify something here. This is the how I'm interpreting yeah. the logline to sell it as an actual movie. He's talking there, it up. There's no way that would be like like yeah. We didn't sit down and I'm like, all right, you yeah. guys have <laughs> invested in a local hotel. Yeah, but times are hard. Because because of the economy. <laughs> right, right. There's and a recession. Is, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you've advertised in yeah. CD magazines that I look at. Yeah. And, yeah. This is right before the internet boom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, before the bubbles burst. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This is actually the hotel, so it was like an Airbnb because there's only five rooms. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yeah. Oh, wait, right that, and that's where uh, Airbnb came from. Yeah. 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 Okay, all right, here we go. Next one. Um, all right. <laughs> all right. With the help of Steven Seagal, two assassins train for a death match. Dude. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. now I, I think I think you're obviously throwing us off. I'm gonna call it a cut. No, no, I say like there's two ways you can interpret that. It's either we played Steven Seagal or this actually has Steven Seagal in it. It's and one he was of the in two. a cousin's movie. Huh? <laughs> well, no, like someone pretended to be Steven Seagal, or it actually has Steven no, Seagal I, in I it. No, I would believe he would be in one of the cousins' movies. <laughs> <laughs> now, yes, he's yeah. in my room now. Uh, I, no, I think you're trying to throw us off a little bit. I think it's a cousin's movie. I think one of us okay. pretended to be Steven Seagal. Okay, <laughs> I just can't imagine who it could Cody be. Knows. I, can tell. I do know for for certain. Obviously, cousins. Yeah, okay, well, <laughs> Co- cousins. Joel, these are what you got. Cousins. Yeah, it's yeah. cousins. Yeah, it's a cousin. Oh. <laughs> What's the name of this one? This one was called Sniper. This oh, was come this on. was just me and Cody. Dude, I want to <laughs> stop the podcast. I just want to watch that. <laughs> it's, no, it's actually very boring. He just made, he's spicing it up. Yeah, who, no, who's no, like who played Steven this Seagal? is like an actual movie. I probably did. What? You, you played Steven Seagal? Seagal? Yeah, you played Steven Seagal. You played Jackson Jackson was the guy. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was your name. That was that the other assassin. I forget what my name was, Dude, but I, I literally recruited Steven Seagal. named Jackson Jackson? <laughs> I want to hear your Steven Seagal right now. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's that? It's still spot on. Yep, it's still it's spot on. Me. Didn't hear a word. It's fantastic. He only said one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, so we all got that one right. Including me. All right. Here we go. Next one. <laughs> Amazing. All right. The evil Cobra Khan travels to present day and a group of ninja students go after him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, that is 100% a real movie. 100%. <laughs> Luke says 100% a real movie. Yeah, Luke's pretty confident, so I'm going to go cousins. No, a <laughs> uh, real movie. Josh is can, you, smart. can you say the, can you say the plot Khan? again? Yeah. It's the evil Cobra Khan travels to present day and a group of ninja students go after him. Hmm. Hmm. 
Girl. Cobra Khan. Cobra Khan. Like Comic Con, but Cobra. Yeah. <laughs> Although that is a mashup of two yeah. like legitimate things that could be a cousin's thing, like we're right. just stealing, yeah. we're just stealing from two movies, <laughs> yeah, Cobra and Khan. All real. Yeah, oh, real. Yeah. I might change cousins? my mind. Yeah, I'm <laughs> towards cousins, but you've talked yourself out of your own answer. Uh, we'll say know. we'll say cousins. Okay, Joel says cousins. What did I say? You said real, real. I said real too. Real. You say it's real? You, I'm you, sticking with my answer. You got it real. Yeah, you got So it was you. three reals and... Two cousins. Two cousins? Or one cousin. This is a real movie. <laughs> All right. Yes, yes. It is real. Yeah. We, we it's called. Fire. It was called Pocket Ninjas. came out in 2007. 2007? Yeah. Pocket wow. Ninjas. Pocket Ninjas. Cobra Con. Cobra Con. Con. The yeah, evil the Cobra Con. Co- the Cobra Weird. Con threw me off. Yeah, that one, I was like, this seems like a name we would make up. All right, here we go. Moving on. I'm doing well. A dead man is brought back to life and is hunted down by the scientists... That brought him back to life, so he hides out with some welcoming kids. <clears throat> Real. That's Frankenstein. <laughs> yeah, it's Frankenstein. Talk about Frankenstein. Um, read it again. It is a uh, a dead man is brought back to life and is hunted down by the scientists who brought him back to life, so he hides out with some welcoming kids. Cousins. I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> Just like cousins. I don't know why. Joel Nisi, you say it's real? Yeah. All sure. right. Real. Josh is real. Real. Real? Luke. Very good job, buddy. It's real. <laughs> wow. this, is a, this is a cousins one. It's killing us all. This one also stars Josh <laughs> as the as the dead man. <laughs> is this the one that we filmed at my dad's house? No, this one was filmed. This is back in 1997. It was filmed here. It's called Death to Living. With an actual number two, oh, yeah, death that. to living. Yeah, <laughs> death to living. Yeah, dude, yeah, we were, I give mean? us more credit than we just. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Who came up with these titles? Was it you? I don't know. Probably. Just back in the day, that's what they were. Yeah, I'm impressed. <laughs> death. I wouldn't be impressed with that title. Yeah. <laughs> Do you I just like whoever like, said death well, to living. Everyone's for, like, oh yeah, that's for like it. a twelve year old. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Death yeah. to living. Like there are worse actual movie titles. Quite true. Yeah, that's true. All right, we got about five Sound more here. Five more. <laughs> After last season. Yeah, so Luke got one point on that one. Um, all right. Oh, trust me. <laughs> Luke, Luke is on point with this one. <laughs> all right, here we go. A boy and his plumber travel to an imaginary world where they must save kids who play the piano well. I like how a boy and his plumber, like that old combination. <laughs> I, I yeah, the boy it, has a plumber. Yeah, it's already plumber. weird. Boy, was your plumber? <laughs> his plumber is the guide or something, like... A boy and his plumber, what now? A boy and his plumber travel to an imaginary world where they must save kids who play the piano well. Dude, that sounds like a... <laughs> no one should have thought <laughs> Jumbled words. Yeah, no one... I'm disappointed in whoever made that. That's like an ad lib thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's pick a noun. That's yeah. so pick a noun. freaking weird. That's so weird that I don't even think we would think that up. I think it's a real it's neither. You know you know how like <laughs> you know how they made that the Super Mario's Bros movie? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. You, like you think they like wrote that movie like when they were just <laughs> high on weed. I feel like that script was written when we, somebody when was we high, were high on heroin. Weed. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I think, yeah. Ayahuasca. Although, all, yeah. Although, to correct you, Joel, I think you had to be high on mushrooms <laughs> to write that movie. <laughs> just, just to on mushrooms. Go, yeah, just to go along with the theme. Mm. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> all right. Like so, what's uh, everyone's uh, Luke? You say it's a real movie. I say it's a real movie. Real movie. Judge? I have no idea. Real movie. Real movie. Yeah. Joel and Lisa, what do you got? Real. Yeah. Cody. Uh, cousin. The piano thing makes me think not a cousin. Yeah. It is a real movie. Yeah. It is. We didn't know about pianos until a couple it's years called, ago. It's <laughs> called. This movie came out in 1953. It's called The Five Thousand Fingers of Dr. T. Dude. That's dr- everyone that was involved in that film should be shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so every so everyone but Cody got a. Yeah. Okay. A boy and his plumber. <laughs> so stupid. That was literally the long line. I'm like, Dude, this is the most surprised. random thing I I've ever heard. It just goes to show that no matter how far back in history you go, people were always idiots. <laughs> <laughs> always the doing original stupid cousins. things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we all reincarnated. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, you know, there was a scene in that in that movie where the plumber was like, "Hey, kid, <laughs> there's hey, a kid. world. Yeah, yeah, there's a world where, that you don't know uh, about. Yeah, but I'm just a kid. I can't go. <laughs> Dylan, I'm. You're I'm a, come I'm, with me. 
curious, where did you find these movie plots? Uh, good old Google. Just weird. type in weird movie plots, and they give you a mm. list, and you read through them, and you go, that is the weirdest sounding plot I've ever heard. Googly. Ask Jeeves. So, yeah, Ask, Ask Jeeves. Jeeves. We'll tell you there. <laughs> jeans <laughs> <laughs> i like those that website all right here josh, we go josh, uh josh next Jeans. one two security guards protecting a government facility first Cam- it's like right. a facility oh, sorry, sorry, fertility uh, yeah fertility fertility, fertility. <laughs> <laughs> no, fertility. fertility. two security guards. fertility facility oh <laughs> Two security guards protecting a government facility encounter a shape-shifting thief who disguises himself as them. That's a a shape-shifting twister. beef? Didn't, get a, I, did, didn't understand anything you said. All right, let shape-shifting me beef. Dude, that's my stage name. <laughs> Welcome next to the stage, shape-shifting beef. <laughs> Just... Velcro pants, come off. <laughs> and, I, and I have like a horse mask on. <laughs> so dark you can barely see what's going on. All you know is you're aroused and terrified. Shape shifting beef. <laughs> I can There's just I can just picture the if if there was if there was no music playing it would just be the sound of like Jello being slapped. No, no it would be the sound of me breathing so heavy from trying to air hump my life out. There's there's, there's like there's no applaud, no anything, no no no, no applaud, no audience. Why why no applaud? <laughs> No, no one's even saying anything. I'm a German stripper. <laughs> no applause. <laughs> no applause till done. <laughs> <laughs> you would be a German stripper. You would be a German stripper. You would be a German stripper. <laughs> you bastard. You German bastard. Oh man, that's so stupid. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> I don't know how to. I can't say it now without it being a shape shifting beef. <laughs> shape shifting beef. <laughs> Here he goes. Into his next shape, cow mask. Ow. Ow, it hurts. Oh my god. I can't even All right, breathe. Let's take it from the top. All right, let's see if we can get through this. All right. Oh man, my phone just shut off. All right. <laughs> Two security guards protecting a government facility encounter a shape-shifting thief who disguises himself as them. I, dude, no matter how many times you read it, I don't understand. Shape-shifting beef. Uh, I'm going to say cousins, just to move this thing along. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say real. Josh is real. Cousins. Cousins. Uh, cousins. It is cousins. Oh. Second time that's happened. Yeah, that was uh, well, me. Am I in this one? That was me, Cody, and Joel in this one. This oh. one was called Mission Retired. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, was that was that filmed? That was filmed. I think I remember that one. Like uh, to change like a disguise, we like put on a hat or something. No, it was like somebody. I think Cody had a gun. He was the thief, and Joel and I was we were protecting. This is the government facility. This house and. Cody had some random gun where he could like somehow change it to where he was suddenly us disguises us, so he <laughs> became you and then he like attacked you attacked me and then it was like this whole thing. Where, where, was Cody also named Jackson Jackson? Also? <laughs> Jackson, Jackson. <laughs> the help of Steven Seagal. All right, three more. All right, here we go. Three kids are visited by the Nightmare Man, where they share their nightmares, and he decides which dream becomes reality. Hmm. Real. Cousins. Oh, you guys are like flip-flop in here. So mm. cousins, real. Uh, what do you no, got? No, that real, that, real that reminds me of, of the Halloween one that we did, but it's not exactly that. It reminds me of the Christmas one we did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, same holiday. <laughs> yeah. Uh I kinda leaning real. Okay. Real? Sure. So, Sounds like Nightmare on Elm Street. No. But Is, I know it's yeah. similar. Cody. Real. So, Josh, you're the one that says Cousins? Yeah. It is a Cousins skit. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Back in action. Luke was the Nightmare Man. Yeah. And this was uh, me, Joel, and his friend Devin. I don't know if you guys remember. We filmed this at, <laughs> wow. your, we filmed this wow. at your guys' house uh, in, uh, where you guys live at your wow. old home. Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't even know he was in one of those. Yeah. You're the only one that got a point on that? Yeah. 
Yes. Moving ahead. The night Luke is the nightmare man. Yeah. I'm the nightmare man. <laughs> Even when we're not doing skits. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's normal. That's how he does it. everyday life. Especially right. when you ask the Alexis. nightmare man in real life. <laughs> right. Am I the nightmare man? <laughs> so this one's gonna be very similar to a previous one that we did. People move into a house and discover a haunted television that allows killer monsters to enter. This is very similar to another one that we heard earlier. A haunted television that allows killer monsters to enter. Mm -hmm. It's called The Ring. That's a (laughs) videotape. Joshua. Yeah, get it right. (laughs) Don't ever embarrass me on the internet. (laughs) 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 It's not the first time. (laughs) I usually embarrass myself. Yeah. Yeah, let's go either. Um, what do you got? What do you think? Oh, I don't know. Uh, cousins. At this point, <laughs> with everything we've learned, it's a toss-up. Yeah, yeah, yeah cousins. Every time. Uh, yeah, literally. It's Unless a lot you harder than you think. It's, it's just weird because we were in these movies and we don't even know. Well, not remember. only that, but you learn. I mean, especially when you're bringing movies from 1957 out. Like, <laughs> yeah, there's way worse movies than you think. And, and obscure movies. Yeah. From Considering I don't remember what happened a month ago in my yeah, life. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. Um, <clears throat> so I say cousins. I say real. 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 You guys. Cousins. 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 Three cousins. It is a real movie. Ooh, Gosh, dang it. Josh, again. it is called The Video Dead. Coming it back. came out in 1987. Oh, jeez. The Video Dead. Terrible. Yeah. All right, here we go. A magical mirror traps a boy inside the reflective world, and he must lure another kid inside the mirror in order to get out. Mm-hmm. I say real. See, that's real? Yeah. God, again, we this could go either way. We weren't that... I don't think we were that clever. Real. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Real? I, I, this could be in our like early effect stage. We were, I think, we were like imaginative, but we weren't necessarily clever. <laughs> and I feel like that's a pretty clever. I don't know. We gotta, you got to bring in another kid. So now you got to. I'm gonna all... say. I'm gonna say cousin. Now you got oh, now, now to get I'm all. Say so Luke says cousins. You guys say it's real. Cody, what are you going with? <clears throat> uh, real. This is a cousin. Oh, oh my man. god! I'm effing up I'm all over the place. <laughs> yeah, this, Cody knows the least, you yes. idiot. <laughs> this is the last <laughs> one. It was this was called Mirrorland, and this was with just Joel and I. Wow! Well, no wonder I didn't. know. Joel was the boy that got trapped inside the mirror world, and he tries god. to lure me in. Also, so jerk. Swap all, just because also, you effed up doesn't mean you got to bring Dylan into it. Also, <laughs> no, I, wa- I watch so that evil. video every day before I go to work. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mirrorland <laughs> and <watch> shave. Mirror. <laughs> yeah. Coffee all right. So and that Mirrorland. was it. That was the final. All right. So what's the final score here, Luke? All right. Oh, Luke's oh, so excited. Well, let's, oh, Luke, yeah. I wonder. Oh, what? A hundred. Let, let me just snap real quick. Oh yeah. Hundred. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? One number 100 okay for uh there's a tie for third place that's fine between josh and cody Ooh, wow dang that, that would be the last thing i would ever think is cody and i tie in this game <laughs> yeah hmm. sitting at second joel and anisa uh-huh yeah. and, and first place luke has redeemed himself in the wow. fail news game he has redeemed I like how you celebrate with a boat noise. <laughs> <laughs> Coming into harbor. It's it supposed to be a French horn, Josh? All I can There's say no is <laughs> shape-shifting horn. beef is the only thing that we can really say should have been the real movie yeah. in this case. <laughs> should have been the case. Yeah. And, and you have to... You ha- uh, when you are playing that section, you have to edit my face... Uh, like just like a clip art thing of like someone dancing. There's no way I'm gonna be able to. Do yeah, you should just Dude, you should I, just I, do it though and send it to me. I want no uh, one else. I want I want if we had all the money in the world and we had all the talent in the world and Which we were we like, all right, let's make the best like Oscar award winning <laughs> movie. And at the Oscars, they would they would read the list of okay for best picture and they have to say shape shifting beef. That would that would be. <laughs> The best thing, <laughs> slow in the world. stand up and everything else like that. But no, this just proves that as many obscure movies as there are, it's like I think that we are just as obscure as any other movie out there. Uh, apparently. <laughs> so now that Luke has been victorious, what should people do, Anissa? What should people do? Uh, <laughs> oh, this is my oh she wasn't ready. She wasn't ready. <laughs> I'm ready. All right, listen. Check us out. Oh.
I already messed up. <laughs> <laughs> Which one should they do? And he said, listen or check us out. Come on, make a decision. Okay, they check us out one. on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I always forget one. SoundCloud. Facebook. Yeah. And Facebook. <laughs> I think we got Did Facebook I get it? Twice. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, but we're not gonna be popular. And right? iTunes, iTunes is the only place else. But and yes. iTunes. Yes, you got it. So thank you, Anissa. Subscribe but... to every <laughs> single one of them. Yes, you guys should follow us there and uh, come back next week for more fun and exciting stuff. But until then, uh, have a good night. See you. <laughs> <Bye. Bye. laughs>